News, I am Cynthia Onwajo. And now to the news in detail. A lecturer of Alfred Akawe, Tokula to Polytechnic Makoli in Benue State, simply identified as Emmanuel, was attacked and beaten by irate youths for alleged organ theft on Wednesday. The police public relations officer, PPRO Katrin Anini, who confirmed the incident, disclosed that two persons have been arrested in connection with the attack on the lecturer. Our correspondent reports that Emmanuel is also a pastor with the Living Faith Church in Makodi, the state capital, according to the PPRO. What a shame to some youths. They don't have respect for the law elders or anybody how can this happen in this generation and then they called on traditional rulers religious and community leaders including every other stakeholder to rise against the barbaric acts by educating their people leadership gathered that the lecturer who was stripped almost naked had come out of a bank along bank road and was thereafter accosted by one of the members of a syndicate who raised alarm over his missing private organ and within a twinkle of an eye other members of the group surrounded the lecturer and started beating him save for police intervention the victim would have been lynched it was also gathered that the suspected syndicate which stationed its members around banks to extort people who withdraw money from the bank as they will send one of them to approach their victim and start raising false alarm on organ theft and all of them will gather to assault the person by collecting his phones and money before fleeing the scene moving on now the lingering russia ukraine crisis have raised the demand for nigeria's crude oil grade into the european markets the hostilities in the eastern bloc also caused a dip in demand for nigeria's oil in the asian markets the nigerian national petroleum company limited nnpc limited has said executive director crude and condensate nnpc trading limited maria moidri said in a panel presentation at the Argos European Crude Conference in London that in addition to the substantial price shocks impacting commodity and energy prices globally, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine has triggered a situation where India, a primary destination for Nigerian grades, increased its appetite for discounted Russian barrels to the detriment of some Nigerian volumes, providing insight into how the rendering conflict between Russia and Ukraine has impacted Nigerian crude oil inflows in the international oil market, Idris said. To illustrate the extent of this shift, Nigeria's crude export to India dwindled from approximately 250,000 barrels per day in the six months preceding the February 2022 invasion of Ukraine to 194,000 in the subsequent six months afterwards. And so far this year, only around 120,000 barrels per day of Nigerian crude volumes have made their way to India, she said. On the other hand, she noted that the Nigerian crude flow to Europe has increased in a bid to fill supply gaps left by the ban on Russian crude, pointing out that six months before the war, 678,000 barrels per day of Nigerian crude grades went to Europe compared to the 710,000 barrels per day so six months later and 730,000 barrels per day so far this year this trend makes it evident that nigerian grades are increasingly becoming a significant component in the post-war palettes of european refiners she said in other news stories the inspector general of police ulukayo de betoku has ordered the posting and deployment of 40 senior police officers comprising 14 assistant inspector generals of police and 26 commissioners of police to various commands and formations in the country. The first public relations officer, ACP Olumuyiwa Dejabi, in a statement on Thursday, said the postings and redeployments were part of a mandate to have a professionally competent, service-driven, rule-of-law compliant and people-friendly police force and to reflect the new status of senior officers who were recently elevated to their next ranks. Nollywood actress Igyabo Ojo has revealed why she's yet to move in with her lover, 
follow to open up during the latest episode of the reality tv show real housewives of lagos it happened that her daughter priscilla ojo buried her mother and asked when she will finally move in with her lover yabo ojo while responding to priscilla's question explained that they are not yet married and she's still studying polo she stressed that moving in together requires a deeper understanding of each other in her words we are not married yet and i'm still studying him yabo jokingly said that priscilla now has an elder sister and an elder brother who is just one month older than her referring to polo's children and now finally to some sports news liverpool has named the 23-man squad for the europa league fixture with toulouse in france the reds departed john lennon airport ahead of thursday night group e match 23 players make the journey to southern france with georgian club side looking to secure qualification for the knocking for the knockout phase of the tournament with a win liverpool squad for toulouse include allison Gomez, Endo, Connet, Diaz, Zobolais, Nunes, Makalisa, Salah, Kapo, Elliot, Kota, Simikas, Matip, Chambers, Scalon, Gordon, Doc, Maconel, Keleha, Alexander, Arnold, Kwanza, and Rose. On that note, we end the news at noon here on Leadership TV. For more news stories, log on to our website www.leadership.ng. Many thanks for watching.